What's up guys? Welcome to another short video on a nice Tuesday afternoon. Today we're going to go over how to recover a lost project in Adobe if you had autosave on. So basically we're finding an autosave project because some people may not know how to do this. So let's just get into it. You lost your project, but you had autosave on, so it's saved somewhere. But for some reason, when you open your project back up, it's not saved. What the heck? That's because Adobe doesn't directly save its autosaves to your project. It saves them in a separate folder, and it saves them as different files each time, which helps you if you want to recover an earlier project type. There's a few things you need to know before you go and find this autosave file, which is very important. You need to know where you're saving your scratch disk. Now, when you make a new project, you'll see you have your name and all this other stuff, and then you have these tabs here, and one of them says scratch disk. This is important. I have mine saved all the same as project because I'll know exactly what folder they're in, but you can put them in random different places. Now, once you figure out where your scratch disk may have been saved for that project, which you can view after the project is reopened, um, even if it's an earlier version, it should always be in the same spot. Uh, it's in the settings or preferences somewhere. Uh, you can go check that out and see where your scratch disks are. But once you find that out, we're gonna go to our file, explore into our project, and then into our project files where I neatly put mine into its own folder. And then you'll see a folder that's called Adobe Premiere Autosave and that's where your autosave projects are going to be. I have two of them in mind. Um, and then you'll see that it even has a date and a time usually on the project name so that you know which version it may be. So that's really it. That's how you find your old project. You can open it up. It's gonna make you rename it to something um, and then you're good to go. You have your old project back. So just remember, it's going to be in a separate folder, not in the same project file as your original one. So. Hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content like this, slice that subscribe button in two pieces for me until one side is gray, one side is red. But hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one.